All right, everybody, from the top, and let's do it. You know, college basketball. How about this week in college basketball? What really showed up this week was, uh, you know, a lot of good things. A lot of good things. I'll tell you that much. How about the Michigan Wolverines? They dominated Wisconsin on Tuesday. They dominated them. I mean, everybody was eating. And I only watched a little bit because I only watched a little bit of this game because, I mean, I had I got distracted with something else. But Michigan's performance in that game was absolutely stunning. Just damn good defense all around. And, and did Virginia Tech at that same time on Monday night, you know, upset Duke. I didn't, I didn't even see this game at all, but, you know, I wasn't anticipating to watch that game at all. Because, I mean, the ACC teams have been so lowly ranked this year. So, I mean, it's just not even not even a point of watching that at the, at the time. And then, also on Monday night, Oklahoma State somehow upset Kansas. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it just happened. Crazy stuff, right? Crazy stuff. You know, as we keep on moving here, nothing really happened. Oh, wait, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it did. Yeah, how about Matt McClung, though? Mac McClung shooting a game-winning shot against my Texas Longhorns. Now, the Longhorns bounced back on Saturday with a big-time victory against Kansas State. You know, the bench stepped up. But, man, that performance against Texas Tech on Wednesday was absolutely dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. We had that game wrapped up in a nice little bow. We were dominating Tech, and then guess what happens? We go cold, we start committing turnovers, and everything is just going off the fritz, and I wasn't liking that. But I'm glad the Longhorns got it together, you know, on Saturday, beat up on Kansas State, you know, guys off the bench were getting plays, and Texas Tech, on the other hand, on Saturday, uh, close, but no cigar against Baylor. No cigar at all. In fact, Jerry Butler didn't even do much for Baylor. It was everybody else for the Bears that did some things against the Red Raiders. You know. But Matt McClung is my guy of the week. He's my player of the week. I mean, dude was balling. He balled out against Baylor too. But that big game winning shot, that was good stuff right there. Good stuff. So what about those Zags? What about the Gonzaga Bulldogs? What about them? It's same old story. Same old story. They beat up on Pepperdine on Thursday night and then Saturday night. You know, they struggled a little bit with St. Mary's. They struggled a little bit. But that's okay. They were down, you know, what, 20 to 11 for about, you know, for a little while. They were down for a little bit. And then they came back, started shooting. Boom. Game. Over. Zags. W. Still undefeated. Yeah, we're just, <laughs> we're just gonna casually walk walk off from that, you know, walk off from talking about Gonzaga right now because there's no reason to. Because, I mean, you know, it is what it is. But, I mean, hey, Wisconsin bounced back, remember? They bounced back and beat up on Rutgers. Well, actually not beat up on Rutgers. They beat up by six. But then Saturday, 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 Saturday. Crazy stuff on Saturday. Now, these two games I did watch right here, Ohio State, Illinois, Ohio State said key. E.J. Liddell, you know, boys were doing good things. Them boys is doing good things. You know, Riddell or Liddell, I don't forgot his name already, but he had 27 points, 26 to 27 points. That was a season high. And, you know, Zed Key was getting all over Kofi Coburn. I mean, Mans was backing him up. He was down. I mean, despite the fact that Coburn had a double double, despite the fact that, you know, Illinois came back in this game late because Ohio State was up. They were up by a lot. They were up by 15 at the half. They were up pretty much the entire game. Illinois came back. But it didn't even matter at the end. It was, you know, the Buckeyes got it. Got another big victory there. But then. You know, I mean, I had praised Michigan earlier in the week for, you know, for earlier for that earlier performance against Wisconsin. They went up and just laid a goose egg against Minnesota. And it wasn't any goose egg. I mean, both teams did not shoot well from the three at first. 
and then Minnesota started to dominate. Marcus, Marcus Carr and company out there in Minnesota finally getting to see you know, the, the Golden Gophers play. It was just a fun time to watch. Fun time to watch. And, you know, these two teams had only met a couple weeks ago, you know, previously, and, you know, Michigan beat them. So, Minnesota's been going through the gauntlet. Michigan's just not getting into the gauntlet, and Michigan got steamrolled. Got steamrolled late in that second half because it was real close at first. Then Minnesota started running all over them, just beat them up 75 57 on Saturday. Butler also beat Creighton on Saturday. Didn't get to see that game. Very surprising there. You know, things in the Big East are starting to heat up because the UConn, you know, they only have, what, one loss in Big East play, I think. Not sure. I uh, already talked about Baylor, Texas Tech. But what about Virginia Clemson? Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Clemson, that, 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 that's not good. That's not good. Virginia's been scoring a lot of points lately. They've been scoring a lot of points. They put up 80 on Notre Dame, I think, a couple weeks ago. Or was it the last week? I don't remember who played who last week because it was last week. But Virginia been playing lights out lately. They're scoring. That That is a surprise to me that they've been scoring points and stuff like that. Been a very, very good, very, very good time for the Cavaliers right now. And, you know... Clemson's okay, you know. You guys can bounce back. Hopefully, I'll get these. Hopefully, I'll get to see these guys play soon. You know, because I haven't seen Clemson play at all this year. I have not seen them play at all. So, you know, I believe I'll make some time for them next week or the week after that to finally see them play. Because I know the Big Big Twelve ACC Challenge is in what two weeks now. And that is going to be fun. That is going to be the most funnest Saturday of the year. This is always the best Saturday of the year. My eyes, mostly because my Longhorns are playing you know, on that Saturday, and you know, we hog up all the ESPN spots and everything like that. But also on Saturday, Miami upset Louisville. Now they had beaten Wake Forest earlier in the week, but did they come out and lose to Miami like that? You know, Miami really doesn't send any good flags to me. They haven't really Miami. The Hurricanes haven't really done anything in the ACC isn't as strong as it has been in recent years, in my opinion. But this loss, really, really rough right here. Big time head scratcher. Real big time head scratcher. And if you were subjected to, speaking of the other team in Kentucky, how about those Wildcats? If you were subjected to Auburn, Kentucky, I feel sorry for you. Kentucky's, what, 4-8 and eight now? Just absolutely disgusting. Disgusting stuff right there. And then today, 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 the second game between Houston and UCF, I watched the first game already. No reason to watch the second, you know, and um, Houston dominated UCF pretty much. Iowa also dominated Northwestern. There's no reason to talk about that. I mean, uh, I pretty much figured that was going to be a dominant game. And then Virginia Tech beat Wake Forest close. I mean, again, I, I said this last week. The Wake Forest keeps it close with teams. Um, hopefully, Wake Forest finds a win somewhere down the line. But you know, right now, I don't think it's happening because they because every time I see Wake Forest come up on these scores for these games, they they end up with an L next to their name. So you know, Virginia Tech still winning. Um, that's some good stuff right there. But yeah, yeah, I think team of the week. It has to be Ohio State. It has to be Ohio State. I'd say Michigan. I'd say Michigan, but then they lost to Minnesota. I'd say Minnesota, but then again, it's like, nah, not really. I mean, they've been through the gauntlet already this week and the past weeks before. So, no, I could have said Texas Tech. They lost to Baylor. So, I'm just going to go with Ohio State. Again, big time performance by the Buckeyes this week. You know, against Illinois. Big time game. That is what you do right there. That is, forget about Brett Bielema being there. Big time performance by the Buckeyes. So, here you have it, everybody. I'll show back up again early tomorrow. In fact, yeah, it'll be early tomorrow because we have some big games this week, too. 
Circle that Monday night game on your calendars. I'll see you all tomorrow.